Welcome to Chapel Hill, North Carolina, and beautiful Keenan City and nestled beneath the pine trees. The home of the North Carolina Tar Heels, fired up and ready for this energized battle. Both teams have circled this game on their schedule. Two of college football's elite colliding here in a matchup of top five teams early in the season. As we'll see the number five team in the country, the Miami Hurricanes, taking on the second ranked team, the North Carolina Tar Heels. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. And the Tar Heels will kick this away to start us off. Fields it just outside the goal line. Will be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. start pretty easy call for the head coach he will accept that penalty of course and wow listen to this crowd noise this stadium is vibrating that's why this is such a tough place for visitors to play it is intercepted not much on the return but the defense comes up with a takeaway forces the defense to adjust. They'll try to run inside, but nowhere to go. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. It's a second and goal play for the offense. And now the running back's got it again. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. It's a nice play by this defense, and now you're thinking about third down and goal from around the five-yard line. You've got a real shot to come up with a stop here. Whether they run it or throw it, you get a stop here, maybe holding the three points. Third and goal, try to make it on the ground. He's swarmed by the defense. What a stop by this defense here on third down and goal. They've been put in a very tough situation in three straight plays. They've stepped up. Now, a big decision for the head coach for the offense. What is he going to do here after those three plays? Is he still going to try to... And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, UNC. Well, we've watched this guy all year. We know that he is a threat when they get down inside that five-yard line. It's fourth down and goal. The defense just did not anticipate that this guy's legs could hurt him, and they did for a touchdown. PAT is good. They slammed into the kicker. Penalty markers are down. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Fields it inside the five-yard line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's a good coverage there. First down here for this offense. Looking out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, he doesn't hang on. Looks like it was deflected before it got to him. It'll bring up second down. Boy, this quarterback is really rolling the dice out here today. Remember, he threw an interception the last time they had the ball. I thought he might learn from that, but instead he comes out throwing it into coverage again. Somehow catches a break on this tip ball that this one was an interception. He better tighten up his decision making. He's going to cost himself a game. They bring him down, but he reaches the 30-yard line. That run, good for a first down. The offense still rolling. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. He's looking to scramble. Avoiding the sack, but the scramble results in just a very short game. And 
important second down play coming up. On the run, it's Johnson. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Chris, you know, the spread era over the years has always grown offensively, but I've been always impressed with defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a run. He's looking deep here. That one falls incomplete. They tried to press it deep, but now it brings up fourth down. Well, that's an incompletion. That'll bring up fourth down and makes you wonder if the offensive coordinator is reevaluating. Maybe a run there might have been the safer call. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. He was hoping that would check up, but a big bounce sends it into the end zone for a touchback. a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. So quickly up to the 35-yard line for first down. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? He hands it off from the gun. And he's brought down after a short gain does not make the first down yardage. And a player is down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check him out. Offense facing a third and short from the 41. Can they make the first down and avoid a tricky fourth down decision? And he drops back in the gun. Incompleting this one as he threw the ball. That's a big third down defensive play. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here. Third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes. is Just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. Bringing you back, it's Sharp. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. And the Miami offense is back on the field. The last drive, they came up empty, had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? And looking to throw now on first down. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. You know, and this is the one thing I love about this running back is his ability to get involved in the pass game. Runs a great route, just doesn't come down with a catch. Handoff here from the shotgun. The pickup is just three yards. Now it's third down and seven. to the line a long way to go for the first down but needing this crucial conversion right now and he'll drop back here on third down quick throw to his receiver and the defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up the hurricanes will line up to punt it away and he'll kick it away now for the second time And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And the Tar Heels offense is back out on the field. They had to punt the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. Quarterback leaves the pocket on the move now. 
He's on the run. Launches deep. He's got it on the left side for a big game. He could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Tar Heels. Well, perfectly thrown football here, and this quarterback's got to be fired up. That's his first passing touchdown of the season. Here's the first of hopefully many more for this young man. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Oh, he's missed it. The extra point is no good. That keeps the score in North Carolina. 13, Miami, 0. The kickoff team on the field now is they get set to send this one away. This one is not returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone. And here comes the Miami offense back out onto the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. He's wrapped up nicely there by the freshman. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Makes a quick catch. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Anytime you have a chance to get this wide receiver isolated, to get the ball in his hands, you do it. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Oh, the pass is picked off. What a play by the defensive back here. You have no idea how tough it can be and how slippery it is out there with this rain. The defense is reacting to the offense. The offense knows exactly where they're going when they're running their route. The defender has to try to be very careful to keep his footing underneath him. Sounds simple, but it's not. To come up with that interception while doing that, that is a big-time play. Offense getting set. Second down play here. It's a run. Running back's got it. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. One of those critical third down plays coming up. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. And the runner steps out of bounds, but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. Well, that's exactly how you dice up a zone coverage. Nice throw downfield here on third down and a really good route to give the quarterback a chance to make that play. He'll hand it off. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. And the Tar Heels pick up enough to get a first down there. Quarterback drops back. Grab behind the line. It's Randall. They stop him after a six-yard gain, so second and four. Well, how about the versatility of this offense? They just showed the defense on this play. You better be careful. It's not just about our receivers and our running back. They also better be careful We're looking out for that big, lumbering fullback. He took the pitch and turned it upfield for a nice game. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. He'll avoid the big hit on the slide. That's the end of the first quarter. North Carolina. Miami. Zero. getting set for a second down here to begin the quarter. Quarterback keeps the football. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. 
Well, the quarterback does everything right except pitch the football. The defensive end is going to take him, which is great. That's what you want. But you got to get that ball out quicker to not allow that defensive end to make that play. Here we go. Third down. Defense needs a stop here. Try to force a field goal attempt. On third down, he drops to throw. Caught near the goal line. And they stop him just short. The defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. What a great route here by this tight end on third down. And the quarterback does a smart thing by looking for the big fella. Who's your best friend on third down? Of course, the tight end. And now we've got first and goal. And he'll make it in for the score. Touchdown, North Carolina. We'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Handles the tricky footing, and the PAT is good. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. This one will be fair caught. And the Hurricanes offense retakes the field. This drive is important. Last one ended in an interception. Let's see if they can get it going here. Looking to throw it on first down. Oh, it's dropped off the tip by the defense there. It's going to bring up second down. Boy, this quarterback is living on the edge. Remember, he threw an interception in the last drive. Thought he might learn from that. Instead, he throws the ball right back into coverage. I thought he threw another pick. He better change the way he's playing the game or he's going to cost his team a game. Escapes the pocket. The pickup is nine, so it sets up a third and one now. Can he make it to the marker? They stop him, but it's a first down. Well, that's mano y mano right there. Offensive line knowing exactly their assignment, getting a hat on a hat, and that back through just exactly where he needed to go to extend this drive. That's a first down. On first and ten, looking to throw. Breaks free. And the pass is just thrown away. Clearly intentional grounding. And here comes the penalty mark. Getting set. Here's second down. And he'll set up to throw. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. It is really tough on a quarterback when he thinks he's got a completion and an open man downfield. The ball is just about to get to his receiver, then out of nowhere. The defensive back steps in front of it and knocks away. Nice job. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. And he throws his third interception of the day. Look out, he's got some space. At the 30 now. At the 10 now. And he's going to score on the pick six. Touchdown, Tar Heels. And a pick six, a monster play by this defense here. That defender showed a lot of athletic ability there with the ball in his hands. I wouldn't be surprised if the head coach watching that thought about maybe giving him some reps as a returner after that touchdown. Kicking team out for the PAT try. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So a touchback will start the 25. And 
Miami offense is back on the field. They have got to bounce back on this possession after throwing a pick six last time out here. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. He makes the stop, but not before a solid gain that time. How about the offensive line here? Just a hat on a hat, opening up just enough room for the back to squeeze through there for a nice game. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. The defense gets him, but it's a first down. Shows you how dangerous he can be scrambling. The DB is backing off from the line now. An inside give now from the shotgun. The game is five, so it's second and five now. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Looking to pass here on second down. Good throw to the left. It's picked off again, the fourth for this QB today. Well, the quarterback ends up being a tad aggressive and ends up paying for it with a pick. playing style but there's a difference between being aggressive and being careless and here comes the North Carolina offense back out out of the field really excellent possession last time the mix the run and the pass kept the defense off balance and route to a touchdown defense is coming after him the junior able to bring him down quickly getting set up here's second down off the RPO caught to the right stop right near midfield it'll be a first down well, this wide receiver has it all we know about his leaping ability and his speed but what I've seen today is the precise route running another example of it there and the timing with this quarterback and this receiver is just a thing of beauty Lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Cannot escape that ferocious pass rush. It's a sack. There's a nice sack by this defense, something that they've been looking for. They've been on their heels most of this football game. That time they were able to get after the quarterback and bring him down. Let's see if that can provide a bit of a spark. See if they can get a little bit of momentum going their way. Snags the quick throw. Defense able to stop it. It's fourth down now. He brings the two-minute warning here. Let's see if this offense can build on this big lead before halftime. And the Tar Heels will have to punt this one away. Looking to kick it away for the second time. The guy who coughs it up, recovers it, and prevents the turnover. And they've got the returner corral. The ball is knocked away from him. That ball can bounce anywhere. But a great heads-up play by the returner to be able to avoid a disastrous play and get the recovery. Defense not pressing this time. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. Quarterback on the move, trying to make something happen. Tough to show, but a sophomore quarterback to pick up the first down himself. Boy, this guy can do it all. We know what he can do with his arm, but when things aren't there, does a good job of pulling it down, knowing where the first down marker is, picking up the first down. Solid game, moves the ball to a 48. First down play here. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Looking to scramble. Looks like he's going to run it. He'll avoid the sack, but is brought down after a short game. Second down play coming up. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. He's hit right as he throws it. Incomplete. 
And you gotta love this if you're defensive coordinator. It's all about affecting the quarterback and getting pressure on him. This time they got to him and forced that incompletion. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Hit as he releases it, and the pass ball is incomplete. Well, the defense picks the right time to get after this quarterback. Third down, critical down and distance. Do a good job of dialing things up and good coverage downfield. He didn't have anywhere to go with the ball. Can they keep this drive going? It's fourth down and six. From the shotgun, drops back. Pressure is coming. This will fall incomplete and a turnover on downs. This is the chance you take here as an offensive coordinator and a play caller. You go for it here, you draw it up perfectly, you think this is the right play, and then the execution is not there. So the defense catches a break, and they get the ball back to their own offense. Second down play coming up for this offense. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Quarterback moving out of the pocket, trying to create. Didn't see anybody open, just throws it away. That's now going to bring up third down. I mean, I like this play. I mean, not only is it the right play, throwing it away like that, but given that he had no other option, he just did what he's supposed to do to survive and get ready for this next down. Off the incompletion, it sets up a third down and two. They'll try to run for the first down. And the Tar Heels pick up enough yardage to move the sticks. Well, sometimes it's just a backyard brawl, right? I mean, it's third down and short. You trust your back and the line to be able to pick up the first down. And he literally pushes with everything he has, throwing a haymaker there at the finish of that play to pick up the first down. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw. Good pass rush there on first down. Okay. 
Incompletion sets up a second down. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Trying to extend the play. And he'll just get rid of it. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could no, have more. They've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. Coach is going to take the three points. Here comes the field goal unit. The kick is good. Offense collects three points on the drive. And they add to their lead. So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. Kick bounces out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. First down, looking to throw the football. He's escaping the pocket now. Nothing open downfield, so we'll just throw it away. Just time enough for one more play in the half. Third back looking to pass here on second down. Fires it to the wideout. And it's incomplete with just one second remaining on the clock. A lot of times, college football, the game comes down to just a play or two. And that's a missed opportunity by this offense. I wouldn't be surprised to see them try to come back to that same play in the second half. Intercepted, picked off by the defense. Minnesota's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it out in Kevin Connors with our halftime update. North Carolina. Canes will kick this deep to begin the second half. And here's the return from inside the five. Well, he's got a crease here. Look out. They finally get him, but that's a great return. The last line of coverage guys just able to corral him, but a great spot to start this drive. And the North Carolina offense is back out there on the field. And they get the second half started with the running play. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Who's to his left now, escaping the pocket? He's hit as he throws it. Finds a man to the left. Big catch downfield. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. This is what you love to see, right? Quarterback does a nice job of looking and finding his open receiver, and he waits to the last possible second. In fact, Chris, he gets hit as he gets that ball out of his hand. So good job of showing some strength. And a good job with throwing with accuracy as he's taken that hit. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. Well, here's the first play to start this second half, and it's really more the same of what we saw in the first half. Really no need to make drastic changes. What you were doing in that first half gave you the lead. Just keep working on it. Here comes a throw from the red zone. It takes the tight end. It's complete. The defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. Here's the second down play. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw that time. And now third down coming up. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Looking for six. And the pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. 
and he'll be taken down, but after a good return. What a play by the defense. Really, the only way they can get back into this game is to create a turnover. They get an interception, and they're in business. Here comes a first down pass attempt. That's caught. It's Johnson. In a big game before he goes out of bounds, the offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. New set of downs for the offense, first and 10. Off the play fake, looking to throw. He'll take a deep shot here. Big game, catch made at the 30. The tackle is made, but the game sets the offense up. First and goal from the nine. Great job here by this offense to open up the second half with an aggressive approach, sending a clear message to this defense that they are ready to be aggressive to win this game. Bringing pressure. Nobody open downfield. He just throws it away. Well, these guys just continue to struggle throwing the football. You know, whether it's been running the wrong route, the quarterback not being accurate, the offensive line not doing their job, it's been a collective effort, and it's a big reason why they're trailing now in this game. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Nice job by this defense on that second down, so we now have third down and goal. The offense could be thinking about four-down situation. They need to put the ball into the end zone. They don't want to settle for a field goal here. Dino, Dino. Third and goal. Looking to throw the ball. He's moving out of the pocket. Forced out of bounds just short of the end zone. Oh, my gosh, Chris. I thought he was going to be able to find a way to get to the end zone. He is such a threat when he takes off. He pulls that ball down and tries to get to the end zone on these scrambles. But the defense just keeps him out of the goal line. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. He'll make it into the end zone. Touchdown, Kings. That's a quarterback who is willing his team to find a way to win. Fourth and goal, everything covered, and instead of trying to squeeze it in, he trusts his legs to get it into the end zone, and it pays off. And the quarterback, oh, they flip it to the kicker. He's looking to throw. Gets the ball off as he's hit, but it's incomplete. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Miami, six. He's going to return it from near the goal line. The recovered team able to bring him down. And the Tar Heels offense is back out on the field. Last possession ended in a dreaded red zone interception. Let's see if they can bounce back from that costly error. Caught quickly. The defense drops him for a loss. He went backwards there. A second down behind the sticks now. Man, the defense was all over that play. Just left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. First down loss sets up second and long from the 11. We give it to the big fullback here. Throws a stiff arm. He's sworn by the defense. Watching this guy run makes me think of a famous old coach once said, any player on my team, I want him to be agile, mobile, and definitely hostile. Important third down play coming up. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. And the pass is complete to the tight end. And he will make the first down. Tackled at the 26. Boy, this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. The game moves the ball to the 34. I know the toss play begins with a guy taking a snap. He turns it around and flips it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, is can they set the edge as an offense, whether it's an offense. And the ball is knocked loose. Who's got it? Defense falls on the ball. Crucial takeaway. 
Oh, what a play by this defense. Trailing in the second half. Really, the only way you can get back into this game is create turnovers. Ball's on the ground, they pounce on it, and they get the ball back to their own offense. Going to try to use his leg here. The sophomore calls his own number and keeps this drive moving. This is why I love the quarterbacks that can make things happen. Here you have an opportunity to try to create. Nothing's there. Play breaks down. Instead of just throwing it away, he sits back, sees nothing downfield, decides to be able to pick up the first down by himself. Impressive run to pick up the first, keep his drive moving. Second down after that previous play. There's the snap. He'll set up to throw. The ball is picked off. Going the other way, can they catch him? Across midfield. At the 30. Past the 20. Touchdown, UMC. And the defense adds six with the interception return. Interception, Chris. Sometimes you see a guy hesitant. He said like, he might think about taking a knee. This guy didn't. It gave him momentum and the speed that he needed to be able to get to the end zone. And the PAT is good. Pickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And it's caught from inside the 20. And the coverage team brings him down at the 26. And the Miami offense will take over. And here comes the Miami offense back out onto the field. They're trying to recover from that last possession. They had things going, but then a big six, a devastating play. They got to recover from that right now. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. Second down, we're going to throw it. He stays alive. Using his legs on the scramble. Quarterback gets down to avoid the big hit. What is the offense will set up on first and ten. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. He makes the grab. They make the tackle, but that's a solid gain. Moves the ball to the 34. We'll see if the defense stays in zone after that big play or if they can change things up on this drive and get a little bit more aggressive. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. Chris, I always talk about this. You can always gauge a team's toughness as a group by how willing they are to tackle with their corners. Here, the corner shows you he's not just out there to cover. does a good job of being physical and making that play. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Caught over the middle. It's Johnson. And the tackle is made as time runs out in the third quarter. at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to run a first down play. Looking to throw it from the red zone. And it's incomplete even in a first down throw. He was under some heavy pressure. Second and ten here. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. He's moving out of the pocket now. Finds a man open on the right side downfield. Brought down at the seven, but the completion moves him closer to the goal line. Finally, good for them. They come up with a big play like this. Let's face it, offense has been at a premium for these guys. You wonder where plays like this have been all game long. 
That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. So just one for three in red zone trips so far. They come up on second and goal. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. And the junior gets home, making a sack there. Man, how impressive have these guys been in this football game? I really expected to see a very different outcome with the hype of this quarterback and the way he's played most of this year. But this defense has held him under 200 yards passing. They've got a nice lead, and they are not sitting back and resting on their laurels. They're applying more pressure, and they come up with a sack here. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown for the U. Touchdown. Love this never-say-die attitude from this quarterback. He's still slinging it out there. This game's out of reach, but this guy's still putting the ball in the air, and this one's a touchdown. It's flipped back to the kicker. He's looking to throw the ball. How oh, it is incomplete. Tried a little lob pass there, but doesn't work. That keeps the score North Carolina. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner will be brought down. And here comes the North Carolina offense back out onto the field. Last possession, they fumbled it away and it set up a touchdown drive. Can they bounce back from that right away? You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. The short hands, it's green. And he will make the first down, tackled at the 26. You know, they've got a lead here late in the game, and the play calling, I think, shows you how much confidence they have in this quarterback. He's had a pretty clean game today, and this decision to still throw the ball with the lead shows you that they believe he's going to make the right decisions and make accurate throws. He breaks free. He's going to pull it down and run. They can't slow him down. Oh, and he fumbles. Defense jumps on the ball. It's a turnover. This offense just blew an opportunity. Have a nice lead here in the second half with the football. The last thing you want to do is turn it over, and they put the ball on the ground, and now give your opponent a chance to get right back in this game. The pocket breaking down. And that is interception number five as the nightmare performance continues. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. And the North Carolina offense is back out there on the field. On first down, it's play action. Running out of time in the pocket. Well, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. Chris, I really felt the quarterback came off the fake a little bit too quick. The defense didn't bite at all on the play action. They saw the quarterback had the ball and attacked and got the sack. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Let's it go quickly. Looked over the middle, but it's incomplete. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. From the gun, he looks for an open man. He's moving out of the pocket. All day to throw. Finally throws it to his left. And it's intercepted as he threw it into heavy traffic that time. That's a pick and a long return before finally being taken down. Boy, this defense did exactly what they needed to do. Come up with a turnover here in the second half to get themselves back in the game. They get the interception. Now, can their offense come up with a way to cut into this lead? First play of the drive, they come out throwing. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Incomplete. They cannot connect on the deep ball. 
Well, they don't connect here, but this is what you have to do. It's late in the game. You need points. You're behind. You got to take some shots. I'd go right back to it, try to find a matchup, and go to one of your receivers that can make a play for it. Slides down to avoid the tackle. Chris, watch him work through his progressions here. Finds the first and the second option aren't there. By the third option, he's got to pull it down and try to pick up some positive yards, which he did, and then he slides down to avoid the big hit. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Quarterback escapes the pocket. He's got room looking for the end zone. Makes it across the goal line. Touchdown, Miami. Miami. No more. Empty backfield now as they go for two. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Set to kick it away. And the kickoff goes out the back of the end zone, so a touchback. And the Tar Heels offense is back out on the field. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. Back goes in motion now. Let's see how the defense adjusts. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Loss of one. Brings up second down. He went backwards on first down, so second and long from the 24. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. The sure hands. It's Randall. It's a small game, but look who they threw the football to. The fullback. Nice to see him get his opportunities. Offense will try to convert a third and long from the 27. We'll see if the defense brings the blitz. Here's the throw deep downfield. And the pass is dropped incomplete. Would have had a huge gain. Took his eye off the ball. And the Tar Heels will bring their punt team onto the field. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And the Hurricanes offense retakes the field. They'll come out throwing here and start the drive. Quarterback looking to scramble. He'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Well, they did a good job of getting pressure on the quarterback, but man, make the play. Bring him down. Instead, they give up positive yards here on the scramble. And he'll loft it to the end zone. Oh, it is incomplete. He flat out dropped what would have been a touchdown. Second down coming up now. This is smart defense. When you're trying to protect the lead late in the game, you know they're going to take some shots. Get those safeties and those defensive backs back far, anticipating a deep throw, and knock the ball away. Wow, back-to-back -back deep shots. We've reached the two-minute warning here. This offense needing to score and then get the football back. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. He's going to take off here. Powering through. He stopped short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. Love to see quarterbacks try to keep a play alive. He gave it everything he had here. He came up short of the first down. Boy, he gave him a chance. Trying for a fourth down completion. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Quarterback gets down to avoid the tackle. The Canes hustle to the line to run the hurry up. They look to throw it here on second down. 
and he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Hurricanes. Touchdown, Miami. Number eight. Coach makes the decision to go for a two-point conversion. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. And the two-point try is good, so the lead is down to 11. Formation would indicate they're going to try the onside kick here. It looks like the hands team are able to recover the football. And here comes the North Carolina offense back out onto the field. They were forced to punt it last time. Now they're looking to respond and add to this lead. Pitch to the back. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Now it's second down here. Offense looking to throw the ball. The pass rush closing in. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here. Trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Chris, that's on the offensive line right there. They definitely have to be feeling responsible because it's almost like you didn't protect your little brother back there. Defense looking for back-to-back -back sacks. Third down now. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. And the Tar Heels will bring their punt team onto the field. He's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. With the return, it's Joseph. And the return are brought down by the coverage team. And Miami offense is back on the field. First play of the drive, they're going to throw the football. Trying to create outside the pocket now. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. Love the aggressive mindset from the play caller here on first down. Take a shot downfield. The only thing is, they're all covered. Nobody's open. He gets flushed out of the pocket, decides to run to. And a senior making a disruptive impact play. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying the lead. Looking to pass here on second down. He's running out of time here. Extending the play now. And he'll step out of bounds after a solid gain on that run. Boy, it's second down and forever. You know they're going to throw the ball. They want to throw the ball, but... To the credit of the defense, there's just nothing open. How about this quarterback? Instead of throwing the ball away, he picks up some big yards. They got a real shot here. Here's another interception. We're losing track. Big takeaway. Now looking for a big return. Return to pick six. Touchdown, Tar Heels. Great job here by the backer, just mirroring the quarterback, reading his eyes, and then stepping in front of that throw. Comes up with it, and then he goes back to high school, shows you what he can do with a ball in his hands, takes it in for a touchdown. And the point after is good. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. That one bounces through the end zone, so it'll start at the 25. Line getting set up. It's a first down play. Look him out throwing here to start the drive. Quarterback leaves the pocket on the move now. On the move, but can't find a receiver and he's brought down. 